Bulldogs used to face it on Good Friday, even before crippling lists got more crowded than the train back home from Easter show. Highlights Canterbury suffered multiple injuries to the forwards en route to the Good Friday with South Sydney. Canterbury suffer a series of injuries en route to Good Friday with South Sydney Cameron Seraldo's side makes a five-day comeback after scoring gold against North Queensland on Sunday Cameron Seraldo's side makes a five-day comeback after scoring gold against North Queensland on Sunday the Bulldogs have not won on Good Friday since 2017 it's been a long time since I tasted victory over the Rabbitohras in the annual fixture since 2017, they've often lost every Good Friday match in a discouraging way. So now, being just few injuries away from hoping there's a great contingent roaming the front bar of Canterbury League's club, winning Friday's match against South Sydney seems like tough order for Cameron Seraldo's side. Take a short five-day flashback between last round's gold points victory over North Queensland, and it looks like defeats of past and bad luck of today are plotting against them. But the Bulldogs are determined to create a new future where winning is never out of reach, just in case. We show our courage every week and you saw that against the Cowboys, you saw the courage we had as a team. We moved on, said winger Jacob Cherry. That was the problem last year, if we're losing we weren't coming back, we're feeling down. The coaching team worked hard to show us that no matter how much time was left, there was still time to win the game. That's what happened, all the guys stayed there and it finally worked for us. Cherry was outstanding form to open 2023, finishing top 5 the Dally M voting and leading league runs, running meters, and dumps while also finishing third tackle raids. With amount of firepower Bulldogs are missing in middle of pitch, they will need another strong yard effort from Cherry, but Lebanese International is gearing up for another big performance, as a childhood Canterbury fan, he's been waiting for this his entire life. Play on Good Friday I love playing freshman year. I've traveled a long way to get here, and I want to take advantage of that. So every time I go there, I want to play with all my heart. I know what that means for the fans. That's why I want to do it for them and my family," said Cherry. When I was a kid, I always watched Good Friday games. We want to show our courage as a team. I can't wait for that and I hope we get another win. I love the stadium, I love the competition, it feels special, it feels different. I'm a loyal person too, so it's really Good Friday for me. Only one of Canterbury's match day roster this week played in their Good Friday victory, rejuvenated Josh Reynolds, who returned to first grade for Bulldogs in the final round's win over Cowboys. It was a special moment for Cherry, who idolized Reynolds as a child. We talked about how unrealistic that was during the last week. Playing fast with him, I got so carried away, I'm happy. Even after the match, I was kissing him because I love him so much. It doesn't seem real to me. I used to watch it and now I'm here with it, it's not real, I'm so grateful. Reynolds is expected to be deployed middle third of court once again, as Bulldogs use his skill and energy try make up for size shortcomings.